Hello, hello guys, be here with Scrappy Boy Stamps. I am so excited for this new release. I love, love, love this movie. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be making a memory deck shaker card. And we're gonna be using this die. It's an older die, but it's still in the shop and is the film strip memory decks car die set and the summer flame paper pack i mean this right here oh love it and then we're gonna use the summer flame um clear stamp set this image right here and i'm also going to use the um one of the shaker plates let's go ahead and get started okay so from this die i have cut this solid purple and then from the film strip i have cut the polka dot one uh, from the um Summer Flynn 6x6 paper pack papers are absolutely gorgeous i just chose this one and then from the same film strip so since we're making a shaker card and i wanted to make this part the shaker and these here are so thin that you cannot put a foam tape underneath to raise it so you can do the sequence or whatever it is you're putting in this case we're putting these um i made my own with this plate from um, the shop so I have cut a few of the I think I cut about 10 of this one and I'm white cardstock and I just glue them all together and that's gonna allow to have some space there for my um, sequence to move around so what we're gonna do and this piece is to put on top like so you could also cut it in the same color cardstock of the paper that you're using I did not think of that um, like these okay and then we have these and you're gonna need a little piece of acetate for this part as well Okay, so the good part about this is that you don't have to use that foam uh, tape. So we're gonna go ahead and add some glue on this part. We're gonna go ahead and glue this down. I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and then on this part I am going to add the acetate and because I need to be really careful because I am not gonna use my double-sided tape for these instead I'm gonna use glue so use very little but enough that it's gonna glue down your acetate And I'm just gonna let this dry before I do anything else. So now that this has dry, I'm just gonna cut along the edge. And all we have to do here is just glue it here. So what I'm gonna do now is add my sequence. I think that's good. I'm now gonna go ahead and add glue to this part.
Okay, so I'm not even gonna touch this right now. I'm just gonna set it aside and we're gonna work on the stamps. Okay, so I here have my image and my sentiment. I'm gonna hit color, come back and show you. And is. this is ready to go. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I'm gonna Anyways. use my outline oh, die to tired. cut them out and come back and show you. And here they are. I have added some foam tape to them. But then when I added these here, I noticed that their feet was not going all the way down to my cardstock. So I just added a little extra piece of foam tape there. And you can see that here that I just added a couple extra foam pieces to have a support for them and then I hear I was figuring out where do I want my sentiment to go <laughs> but I decided to put it on the lower left side and this is how it turned out wasn't this so easy to make you guys look how cute thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time